What's up guys, welcome to another video of Unblocked. In this video, we will cover three questions about ENS domains. What is an ENS domain? Why is it important? And how to create your own NFT domain? So let us understand why .eth is the new .com. The domain name is something we're already familiar with. Nike.com, Apple.com, KanyeWest.com. Ownership of that domain is something that companies and individuals pay a premium for. In the early days of the internet, websites had IP addresses, which made it difficult to easily visit a website. DNS, domain name service, allowed websites that we are familiar with today to convert their IP addresses into readable text. Example, Nike.com is actually 15653. As the internet continues to evolve into Web 3.0, it is important to consider what the future of the internet will look like for online storefronts, brands, entrepreneurs, and artists. And therefore comes the need for a name service in the Web 3 world, which will make crypto addresses memorable, quickly identifiable, and help brands own their presence in the metaverse. An ENS domain will look like unblocked.eth, which is actually a mask for Unblocked's public wallet address, just like .com is a mask for an IP address. What's easier to remember? I'm sure you see the value in it. What is ENS? ENS is Ethereum Name Service, which is a secure way to translate an Ethereum address into an easily searchable, readable text. When creating an Ethereum wallet, users are given a long string of numbers and letters that they are able to send their Ethereum assets to and from. The difficulty with this is that these addresses are too difficult to memorize and use consistently. It comes in ENS. As of right now, ENS domains end in .e and can be registered at app dot ENS dot domains. Let's walk you through a complete guide on how to get your own ENS domain. Before you get started, you would want to make sure that you have a small amount of ETH in your wallet to pay the transaction and Ethereum registration fees associated with the dot ETH. The following steps are assuming you already have a crypto wallet, example MetaMask, and if not, please click on this link above to learn how to set up your crypto wallet. And you will also find that same link in the description down below. Okay, let's hop on to our next question, which is how to get your ENS domain. So for that, you will need to open up your Chrome browser and go to the official website, which is called app.ens.domains. Enter. Click on connect a wallet and you will connect your MetaMask wallet. I have already previously signed in, so it automatically connected, but otherwise it would ask you to, you know, type in your password, ask you to sign in, which acts as like a signature of the Web3 world, and you will have connected your wallet. So once you have connected to the ENS registration app, start by searching for your desired .eth name. When searching for a name, you will only get two prompts, available or unavailable. So when a name is unavailable, for example, let's write Devika, you will be able to see the address it is registered to and the expiration date. And if a name is available, let's write timsims.eth. Boom, that's available. You will be prompted in a way to register your domain and pay for the number of years you would like to register that domain for. So for example, it's $5 for one year. If I click on two, you can see that the number increases. If I click on three, you can see the number increases likewise. And you can always log back into the ENS provider to extend the time that you have registered the ENS for so that it does not expire. So for now, we will just register it under one year. And over here, you can see that there are steps that are mentioned. So let's click on request to register. Okay, let's confirm our transaction. Over here, you will need to wait for the ENS app to confirm your registration to make sure that no one else is trying to register the same name at the same time. Okay, so we can see that the step two is completed. Let us click on registration to move to third step. Here, we have to pay gas twice and it showed I had insufficient funds. So what I had done is, as we know, we can always edit the gas fee that we want to pay. I edited it and set it on low and then waited for the gas to drop to that point so I can confirm my transaction. Over here, we can see that our transaction is pending. So let us just wait. You can always pay more gas to speed up the process. So that option is available here. If you have the patience, you can just wait. Oh, I think our transaction is complete. Let's check. 
we can see that our transaction is confirmed. You now have your own .eth. Congratulations. You are now a registered ENS owner. To check it in my wallet, let's go to OpenSea and go file. And we can see that it's reflecting here. We can see now that officially we hold dimsums.eth. I'm always so excited in the Web3 world. Love how everything's moving. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments or you can always directly reach us through Instagram DMs and Twitter DMs. Have a great day and see you for the next one.